Welcome back everyone to Hossa Cards for this week's video of TTM Thursday number 15. Now the mail has finally picked back up here again following the holidays, so I'm back this week with apparently my lucky number for TTM with 13 returns. I swear like half of my videos I've had exactly 13 returns. I don't know what it is. Uh, as a reminder, with all my TTM videos, I send out one letter a day to random athletes or non-athletes for autographs, as that is exactly what TTM is through the mail autographs. I get all of my addresses from sportscardforum.com and sportscollectors.net. I've been using that a lot more lately. I'll have both sites in my description box below, as well as the corner over there, uh, during my intro as well as the end of my video as well. So if TTM interests you, go check those sites out. Both have free options to use, but sportscollectors.net does have a premium option that costs $15 a year for unlimited use. Okay, no more talking. I've got a lot of letters to rip as always, and Wonder Woman is ready as always as well. Let's do this, here we go. Letter number one. Also for the record, I have not seen Wonder Woman 2 yet as of this recording, but I have heard and read reviews, and apparently my girl wasn't as successful as her first film. Bit of a bummer there for sure, but I'll be checking it out for sure. So let me know in the comments below without spoiling anything. If you have seen it, let me know what you thought. First letter up here we go and there is some interesting stuff going on in here <laughs> i don't know oh nice mr frank thomas wow that came back quick very cool and he definitely sent some extras i'm pretty sure i sent him two cards so i'll get to his note here in a minute here's the first one i sent 64 tops on the mets looks fantastic and here's the second one i sent uh, i think 58 tops 59 tops somewhere in there 58 i think uh for the pirates the original Big Hurt, as I like to call him, the original Frank Thomas, there he is. Very nice, and y'all, that's right, he sends his own card. Very cool to get three back from Mr. Frank Thomas. Absolutely masher back in the days. Frank Thomas, thank you very much. The original Frank Thomas. Oh, and he even has the, the original one. <laughs> uh, let's see what he wrote. I think it's just a normal letter from him. But not bad at all. Oh, yeah. So I'm not going to write, or I'm not going to read all this. But there you go. That's what you normally get. Oh, wow. Oh, I did write a lot of stuff on the bottom there. Oh, I'm gonna, definitely going to have to read that later because that is a massive letter. <laughs> but thank you very much, Mr. Frank Thomas. Always like getting letters back from the athletes. Letter number two. Here we go. Come on, Wonder Woman. Get together here. <laughs> so one for one on the throwbacks from baseball. And this one is very light. Uh, maybe like one or two cards only in here. And it's another throwback. Larry Brown for my Cleveland Indians back in the day. Soon to be probably Spiders. But here it is. 64 tops. Very odd. It almost looks like artwork there. And there he is. I picked this one up off of eBay for very cheap on the A's. I think that's 72. Yep, 72 tops. Very nice. Two for two from Mr. Larry Brown, former shortstop for my Cleveland Indians. First PC return this round. Very cool to get him back. Two for two vintage. Here we go. Letter number three. Man, might be an all vintage return day. I don't know. Let's see here. Baseball up top two. 2-0 two so far. And here we go. Another one. This one's a current player, Mr. Devin Smeltzer. Very nice. Oh, and he uh, uh, personalized this one. Very cool. This is from 2019 Tops, I think, update. Very nice. Oh, nice. And he wrote them all to my kids, too. Very cool. And these came out great. I had to prep these up a little bit for the gloss. Holiday 2019 to my other daughter, 2019 holiday. And my son, 2019 as well, Tops. Devin Smeltzer uh, made his debut last year sometime. Started off with a bang. I think had like six shutout innings. Uh, he's kind of come back down to earth since, but still a pretty important part of that team going forward, I think, especially in the rotation. I think he had some injuries last year. So thank you very much, Mr. Devin Smeltzer. Letter number four. Keeping it moving. Man, baseball showing out so far in this one, right? Three for three. Let's see if another sport can get on board. And it won't. It's another baseball return. <laughs> Man. Mr. Pete O'Brien, former slugger for the Seattle Mariners. There he is on 91 Ultra. Looks like it bled a little bit, but not too bad there. 92 tops. That looks fantastic. Very nice. 91 upper deck. Wow, did I send him five? I did. Uh, Leaf, 91 or 92? 91. And then there's 89 Fleer. 
I also played for the Rangers as well. I think I like that one the best. Actually, no, tops. <laughs> Pete O'Brien uh, had some pretty solid years. I mean, take a look. Over 20 home runs multiple times. I guess we should take a look at this one. There you go. There is much better. 162 total home runs in 1992, so not bad at all. Very solid career for Mr. Pete O'Brien. Thank you very much, sir. Baseball going for the sweep here so far. <laughs> four for four. Letter number five. If I can get Wonder Woman. There we go. <laughs> here we go. Letter number five. Is this going to be baseball as well? It is. Wow. Five for five. Kevin McReynolds. Oh, man. <laughs> I had to get this one signed. Super young. Everyone knows him for the Mets. I had a card of him on the Padres. I had to get it done, and it came out really well. 87 Donruss always looks really nicely signed. 91 upper deck in 1990 score. I think I might have sent him four, but hey, can't argue with that. They all look fantastic, actually. Oh, man, that's tough. I think I'm going to have to leave upper deck on top for this one just because it's so light. I like how it pops on that one. Kevin McReynolds for the Mets. Awesome return again. More baseball so far. This is <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever had a clean sweep before. Five so far for baseball. And another one. And in this another modern player. This one, Mr. Ruben Cardenas. Very nice prospect for the uh, Rays organization. Here he is on Bowman. These are the only cards I had of him. Both Bowman 2020 cards. Ruben Cardenas. And with the way the Rays move their prospects, he's going to see time at some point. He is a California native. Very cool to get that back from him. Definitely going to be a fan of his going forward. Thank you very much, sir. Next one up, another one. Baseball again. <laughs> We're almost halfway. Over half. This will be over halfway, this letter right here. Nothing but baseball so far. Two, four, six. Yep. Man, let's see if it continues. It does not. It finally ends. Paul Pressey, thank you. <laughs> Paul Pressey, take a look at that. 91-92 Skybox forever is the best series for autos, in my opinion. Just look at that. Wow. Uh, for the Spurs, obviously. Here he is for the Bucks. Uh, it says 90-91 Skybox. And finishing it up is 90-91 or 89-90 uh, Hoops. 90-91 Hoops. There we go. And for whatever reason, all the cards I pulled to him out of this had this on it. I don't know what it is. Didn't come out the greatest on that. Kind of dark in the background, but that one came out great. And obviously, 91-92 for uh, Skybox did. That is fantastic. Thank you very much, Mr. Pressy. Finally ended baseball's dominance this round. Got basketball on the board. Next letter up. Keeping it moving. Let's see if there is any more than just baseball here so far. And nope, here we go. We're going to start picking it up with basketball. <laughs> see if basketball makes a full comeback here with Randolph Keys. Very nice. Oh, yeah, I got some Skybox here, too. <laughs> here is a 9091 Hoops, a backwards Skybox. Uh, okay. <laughs> it does have an auto. And again, looks fantastic. Really like that green swirl right there. Randolph Keys, 9192 Skybox. And I guess these were the only cards I had of him, too. Liking that a lot, too. He's got the mouth guard right there. Former big for the Charlotte Hornets back in the day. Mr. Randolph Keys, of course, 9192 Skybox. Going on up top. Absolutely love that series. Thank you again, Mr. Keys. Next letter. Still moving. If I can get Wonder Woman to cooperate. And I'm pretty sure this is an older one. I think that's my older stamp. I've been using a red stamp again lately. So let's see who we got. And it is. I've seen a lot of people get him back lately. Mr. Henry Cotto. This was out there for a minute. Did not expect that. But man, he's got a sharp auto. Very nice. That is sweet. Uh, 89 Fleer. 91 Upper Deck. That one bled for some reason. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is 90 Upper Deck. And, of course, this one is very clean. 1992 Tops. Woo. Uh, not anything too crazy here. Mainly like a utility role player in the outfield. Kind of like a before the platoon days. But he was kind of a platoon player. Had some decent years for sure for the Mariners. And I guess the Yankees. I don't remember him playing on the Yankees. Or I just don't have any cards for him on the Yankees. Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to go with 89 Fleer on that one. That one just looks really cool for some reason. That's a fantastic-looking shot. Baseball back on the board. Next return, here we go. Very interesting stuff. All baseball, all basketball so far. Nothing too crazy. Let's see what else we've got here with letter number something. No idea. And we are right back to basketball again. 
Completely missed the penny sleeve. <laughs> okay. Adrian Dantley. Oh, very nice. Hall of Famer. First one. 91 or 9091 Skybox. That one got a little bit of smudge on it there. Not bad either, though, here. 9091. Oh, did not sign. Oh, he signed one of them. Very interesting. So three returned. Going to go with the hoops for sure. Check out this guy's stats. I mean, he was nuts. It's, it's tough to look at Skybox, but take a look at hoops. Look at those scoring averages. You know, like three or four seasons right there where he was over 30 and about four or five more on top of that over 20. This guy was an absolute scorer back in the day. Great player. Hall of Famer. First return this round. Adrian Dantley. Thank you very much, sir. Fantastic looking auto on that hoops. Here we go next up. And he actually does not have any of those 91-92 skybox. Otherwise, I would have sent that, I know. <laughs> Another older one, I believe. I think that's my older stamp. Let's see who we've got in this one. Oh, nice. Uh, missed the penny sleeve again. This is the only card I had of him. Mr. Keith Van Horn. Awesome collegiate player out of Utah. Very decent, uh, solid starter, too, in the pros for the Sixers. Uh, I think the Nets, too. I think he was on the team that went to the finals with Jason Kidd back in the day. This is the only card I had of him. I pulled this out of a collectible card club box. Saw he signed, but took a while. Uh, this definitely has been out there for a minute, but very cool to get Mr. Keith Van Horn back. Great college player out of Utah. Two final letters. Here we go. I think they're both somewhat recent. Basketball still storming back here all of a sudden. What are they up to? Four now? Very nice. Let's see who we've got. And it's baseball. Mr. Vern Fuller. Very cool to hit another hit for my Cleveland PC. There he is on 68 tops, I think. 68, 69, 68. There it is. Two 68s. Uh, I got one gifted to me. Ah, I can't remember who from, though. I apologize. And I picked this one up off of eBay just because. 1970 tops. And it looks fantastic. Vern Fuller, for, former second baseman. Just played for Cleveland, basically. I don't think he went anywhere else, uh, to my knowledge. He may have had one final year. Did get have the starting job for them for a few years, but mainly was a backup for the Cleveland Indians in the 70s and late 60s. Very nice, though, to get him back. Thank you very much, Mr. Fuller. I'm trying to figure out which one I want on top. I think I'm going with 70. <laughs> there we go. 70 tops for the win. Final letter. Here we go. It's been a blast as always. Ton of baseball, ton of basketball. No football this round. No hockey. No non-sports. Very interesting. And here we go. This time it is a success from Billy Verdon. <laughs> Last time he sent these back to me, uh, he didn't sign the cards for some reason. So that was very odd. Uh, but looks like he corrected it this time. And he did. Very nice. Here is 1978 tops, I believe. 78. This is when he was a manager. Yep, 78. And here he is on 64 tops, signing his portion over there. I'll have to look into uh, Danny Murtaugh. I don't know if he's a signer or not. I'll look into him. Maybe I'll post something down below during editing about him. But thank you very much, sir, Mr. Billy Verdon. Awesome to get you to sign these. Uh, I know it was clearly now just a mix-up on the first one. He answered my question on the letter. Uh, but didn't sign the cards. So here we go. I got Mr. Verdon back. And now I've got nowhere to put him. Where am I going to put you? Oh, I'm just going to put you right there. <laughs> nope. Can't see him. We're going to put him on up top. There we go. There it is. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode of TTM Thursday, episode number 15 with 13 successful returns. 13 for 13 this round. Very nice. No RTSs. I'll take that all day. Thank you very much. The original one, Mr. Frank Thomas, Larry Brown, Devin Smelter, Pete O'Brien, Kevin McReynolds, Bill Verdon, Ruben Cardenas, Vern Fuller, Keith Van Horn, Adrian Dantley, Henry Cotto, Randolph Keys, and Paul Pressey for all sending these back to me. Thank you very much, everyone. Awesome stuff there as always. Absolutely love TTM. Can't imagine not doing it anymore. <laughs> and as always, none of these cards will be available in my eBay store, but if you're ever interested in some of the cards I pull straight out of a pack on my channel, my eBay link is listed in the description box below. And while you're down there, if you already haven't, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, continue to take care, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah.